Hello and welcome to today's MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at the formal written methods for addition and subtraction. And we're going to be extending it today to looking at four digit numbers and also some decimals. So, on to the first question. Which is 7089. And we're going to add 3000. 287. So first of all we're going to add our units. So that's 9 add 7 is 16. Carry the 10 over to the tens column. Then it's a 10 add 8 tens add 8 tens so that's 17 tens so we carry into the hundreds column. Here we have 100 add 200 which is 300 and finally, we have 7,000 add 3,000, which is 10,000. And we carry that 1 into the 10,000s column for a final answer of 10,376. And next is question 2, which is going to be adding with decimals. Now, if I do 43.5, I'm going to add 22. 0.7 and we add this exactly the same as if it was a whole number there is no difference apart from just remembering to include our decimal point and they should be all in one neat line like this and then everything else will line up we have our units here we have our tens here and we have our tenths here so first of all we're going to go for 5 tenths, add 7 tenths, that's 12 tenths, so we carry 1 into the units. Remembering we do have our decimal point here. We've got 1 unit, 3 units and 2 units, that's 6 units. And then finally, 4 tenths add 2 tenths, 6 tenths, for a final answer of 66.2. And next we're on to question 3, which is subtracting a 4 digit number from another 4 digit number. So that's 6,304, and we're going to subtract 4,992. So, first of all, if we take our units column, that's 4 subtract 2, which is 2, then our tens column. Now we have 0 tens, take away 9, and we can't do that, so we need to move to the hundreds column and borrow a hundred from here and bring it back to the tens. So now we have ten tens, take away nine tens which gives us a single ten. Then we can move back to the hundreds column, two hundred minus nine hundred we can't do again so we need to move over to the thousands column and borrow from there and bring it back to the hundreds column. And again we have twelve hundred Minus 900, that's 300 left over. And then finally, we have 5,000, subtract 4,000, leaving us with 1,000. For a final answer of 1,312. And on to our final question of the day, question 4, which is subtracting with decimal numbers this time. We have 56.8, and we're subtracting 12 0.6. So again, we have our tenths here, we have our decimal point, we have our units here, and our tenths, our tens. Now don't forget, this decimal point, these need to line up. It's very important. And then everything else should fall into place. So here we have eight tenths uh, subtract six tenths so that's two tenths then we move over to the units that's six units minus two units which is four units and finally five tens 50 subtract the single ten gives us four tens which is 40 for a final answer of 44.2 and just to show it's exactly the same as doing a whole number if I was to remove the decimal point so I had 568 and I subtract 126, first of all, 8 subtract the 6 gives us 2, 
6 tens subtract 2 tens is 4. 500 minus 100 is 400. So here we can clearly see we have the 442. Here the 442, but the only difference is, is we have this decimal point in it. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care. Bye.